In the metal squadron today, taking a look at the May silver contract, which almost had a 7% rise on the highs today. 27.49 half was the high. That was also the highest level since around June of 2021 on the highs, but we did pull back. The 7% rise, or just short of 7% rise, was the biggest jump from a previous day's close to, close to the high in over a year. Biggest one day jump we've seen to the highs. But we pulled back on the close to finish the day up about three and three quarter percent. We were actually down a little bit today at one point. 25.55 was the low that was down all almost seven tenths of 1%, 66 basis points to be exact. Now the conflict between Russia and Ukraine continues on Ukraine soil, and that's obviously giving silver a little bit of a flight to safety lift. But those pullbacks we saw in both silver and gold were sort of reminiscent of maybe it being overdone a little bit. We did get record highs in, I shouldn't say record highs, but recent highs in gold also. As a matter of fact, gold's highs, in terms of where it was last time, was all the way back to 2020. But silver's playing a little bit of catch up as it's sometimes viewed as a less expensive flight to safety hedge when gold starts to accelerate. Previous week, gold on a percentage basis tended to outperform silver. That didn't happen today or the last few days where silver seems to be playing a little bit of catch up in that aspect. And silver is also getting a boost from rallies in other industrial metals and really other commodities. Even the crude oil jump is helping out silver because silver is used in electric vehicles. And if crude oil continues on this path, silver will be in higher demand to make more electric vehicles to give some consumers a relief on gas prices, but also boosts in nickel and other industrial metals, helping to boost up silver as well as it also has its use as an industrial metal in the way that it conducts electricity.